So for some reason, you decided to take on the endeavor of learning ancient Hebrew, biblical Hebrew, the Hebrew necessary to comprehend the Hebrew Bible or the Old Testament. And at some point, you've come in contact with someone that has impressed upon you the idea that ancient Hebrew is void of vowel diversity or is only inclined to utilize the A-class vowel. And through this pursuit, you've now inclined yourself to this methodology and you are now an ardent student of the ancient Hebrew handbook. And this handbook also asserts that the Hebrew language is read from right to left and has no vowels. And the only vowel sound is ah. So we are citing the ancient Hebrew handbook. Now, what I would like to do is say that ancient Hebrew is a Northwest Semitic language that is attested as early as the 10th century BCE. If we were to utilize a cognate language, another Northwest Semitic language, and in this case, attested as early as the 14th century BCE, can we possibly utilize this language to determine as to whether or not ancient Hebrew or biblical Hebrew possessed the employment of any vowel other than the A-class vowel? Sa'u iluma ra'ashatikum. Sa'u, let's get it back in focus. Sa'u iluma ra'ashatikum. Sa'u iluma ra'ashatikum. Sa'u iluma ra'ashatikum. All right, so Sa'u, this is going to be our G stem responsible for the simple active aspect of the verb's performance comparable to the Ba'al or Pa'al call responsible for the simple action aspect of the verb's performance in Biblical Hebrew or Ancient Hebrew. Sa'u, this is the second masculine plural imperative. Sha'u, Sha'u. Okay, so lift, plural. Iluma, iluma. This is going to be the subject of our verb, our plural nominative. Iluma, so either masculine plural or gender inclusive plural. Iluma. Rashatukum. Rashatukum. This is going to be our plural oblique with a second masculine or gender inclusive pronominal possessive suffix. Your heads. Sha'u iluma rashatikum. Now, this is the relevance of this is that we can see here in this Northwest Semitic language attested as early as the 14th century BCE that we have the employment of a glottal stop with a U class vowel, another glottal stop with an I class vowel, and yet another glottal stop with an A class vowel. So Glottal stop with the U class vowel, glottal stop with the I class vowel, glottal stop with the A class vowel. Sha'u iluma ra shatikum. Sha'u iluma ra shatikum. Sha'u iluma ra shatikum. Okay? Oh, you gods, or you gods, lift your heads. Okay, Sha'u iluma ra shatikum. Sha'u iluma ra shatikum. 